Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity and this is FRM 2013 sample paper question number 8 problem and here we are asked to uh, compute the risk neutral probability of default okay so they are saying that there is a one year maturity zero coupon bond face value of 1 million the recovery rate is 0% okay which is issued by company A the bond is currently trading as 80% of the face value assuming let's say face value is 100 Okay. So, the bond is trading at 80 percent of the face value. So, the bond price is 80. Right? They are saying that the recovery rate for this bond is 0 percent and the spread that the comp this bond is getting. So, the spread that is above the risk free rate is only because of the default risk. That is what they are saying and the risk free rate they have mentioned is 5 percent per annum. You are being asked to compute the probability of default. Okay. Let us structure this problem. Let us understand okay, if you have put $100 in any risk free bond okay, with 100 percent probability it would become equal to 100 into 1 plus RFR. This is certain payoff that you will get. Okay. However, if you are investing in a bond which is uh, having some default probability, okay, if you invest 100, okay, what will happen is with probability of default PD. Okay, you will get how much money? You will get whatever the recovery rate. Okay, recover recovery rate into your hundred. Okay, with probability of default one minus probability of default, you are gonna get entire money. So you will get hundred dollar. Right. So what we want to know is how much interest rate? How much is the rate you should expect? Okay, in this case. Okay. So in this case, you are, you will have to expect a rate which is equal to the rate of return for this. So, you are going to get 100 into 1 plus yield of this particular bond okay, with 1 minus probability of default. Now, the higher the probability of default, this if this is higher, this rate of return should also be the yield should be higher. Okay. Now, if things being equal, can I say that this part should be equal to this part. So, this is certain part. Okay. This should be equal to this uncertain and this uncertain part combined. So, with that I can say that 100 into 1 plus RFR should be equal to okay, probability of default PD into recovery rate okay, into 100 plus 1 minus probability of default into 100 into 1 plus Y. Right? Now, 100 will get cancelled. You have 1 plus RFR will be equal to PD into RR plus 1 minus PD into 1 plus Y. This is a very, very important formula. You should remember this formula okay, for the examination. Right? Now, in this question, they have given that the recovery rate is 0. So, this is going to become 0. Right? So, you have 1 plus RFR will be equal to 1 minus PD into 1 plus Y. Okay? Now, why is we have to compute this y because here in this equation probability of default is unknown and y is unknown. So, please ensure that you compute this y. How you are going to compute this y? Okay. Note that I know that the present value of the bond is 80 and the future value is 100. Okay. So, I can say that p is equal to future value divided by 1 plus y okay. if this is a zero coupon bond. Okay. So, it is a zero coupon bond. So, please note that here I would uh, compute FV divided by 1 plus Y. So, 1 plus Y will be equal to FV by price. FV is 100, price is 80. So, wherever 1 plus Y is coming, I can replace that with 100 by 80. So, what we have is 1 plus RFR will be equal to 1 minus probability of default into 100 by 80. Right? Now, we can bring this over here. So, it will be 1 plus RFR into 80 by 100 will be equal to 1 minus PD. As a result, your PD would be equal to 1 minus K 0 0.8 that is 80 by 100 into 1 plus RFR. Right? So, this would be the this would be the answer of your problem. So, PD will be equal to this. Now, I have solved this same thing in your Excel also. Okay, so, what we have is okay, we have 1 minus 1.05 this is 1.05 1 plus RFR into 0 0.8 it comes to be 0 0.16. So, the probability of default is 0.16. So, this will be your answer and here if you see okay, the answer should be option C that is the probability of default. Okay. Thanks.